Hello nature enthusiasts. Today we journey into the fascinating world of ungulates mammals that walk on the tips of their toes, which are covered by hooves. Imagine horses galloping across the savanna or hippos cooling off in muddy rivers. These magnificent creatures belong to a diverse group called ungulates. Ungulates have special adaptations for walking and running on hard ground. Their hooves protect their toes and provide a strong base for their weight. But did you know that ungulates can be divided into two main groups based on their toe structure? These groups are called Artiodactyla and Perissodactyla. Let's explore the differences between them, shall we? The most obvious difference between Artiodactyla and Perissodactyla lies in their feet. Artiodactyls, also known as even-toed ungulates, bear their weight on an even number of toes, usually two or four. Think of a cow's cloven hoof. It has two main toes that share the weight. This unique foot structure helps them balance and move swiftly across various terrains. Perissodactyls, on the other hand, are odd-toed ungulates. They support their weight on one or three toes. Horses, for example, have a single powerful toe on each foot, giving them incredible speed and agility. The difference in toe number affects how these animals move and the environments they inhabit. Another fascinating difference lies in their digestive systems. Many artiodactyls, like cows and deer, are ruminants. They have a special four-chambered stomach that allows them to digest tough plant matter efficiently. The first chamber, called the rumen, acts as a fermentation vat, breaking down cellulose with the help of microbes. Perissodactyls, like horses and rhinoceroses, are hindgut fermenters. They have a simpler stomach but a large caecum, a pouch-like structure in their large intestine. The secum serves a similar purpose to the rumen, hosting microbes that break down cellulose. While both groups are herbivores, their different digestive strategies allow them to thrive on a variety of plant materials. Section 4. Beyond the toes. More differences to explore. Apart from toes and digestion, Artiodactyla and Perissodactyla differ in other subtle but significant ways. One such difference is the presence of the alisphenoid canal in the skulls of Artiodactyls, which is absent in Perissodactyls. This canal houses a nerve that plays a role in facial expressions. Furthermore, while most artiodactyls possess horns or antlers, these structures are less common in perissodactyls, with the exception of rhinoceroses. Another interesting difference lies in the carotid reti, a network of blood vessels that helps regulate brain temperature. Artiodactyls typically have a well-developed carotid reti, while it is reduced or absent in perissodactyls. These anatomical variations reflect the diverse evolutionary paths these two groups have taken. Section 5. Living Large. Similarities in the hoofed world. Despite their differences, Artiodactyla and Perissodactyla share some remarkable similarities. Both groups include some of the largest land mammals on Earth, showcasing the success of their ungulate adaptations. From the towering giraffes of Africa to the mighty bison of North America, these animals have conquered diverse habitats across the globe. Their size, strength and ability to utilize plant matter effectively have made them key players in their respective ecosystems. Moreover, both groups have had a profound impact on human civilization. Artiodactyls such as cattle, sheep and pigs have been domesticated for thousands of years, providing us with food, clothing and other resources. Perissodactyls, like horses and donkeys, have been our faithful companions, aiding in transportation and agriculture. Understanding the unique characteristics and evolutionary journeys of Artiodactyla and Perissodactyla helps us appreciate the interconnectedness of life on Earth and the importance of conserving these magnificent creatures for generations to come.